Hi, I'm Justin Conway. I'm an Excel expert, and I'm going to walk you through the steps necessary to perform a custom sort. The first thing that you'll need to do is uh, locate the cells that you'd like to sort. Um, if you're a teacher and you have a grade book and you'd like to find your three favorite students according to grades, uh, you would highlight all of your students by selecting the first cell in the listing and the last cell. And before you click the last cell, hold down Shift. That will select everything in between. Another way to do this is to simply click on the first row and drag your mouse or cursor down all the way to the bottom. It'll highlight the entire row. You want to make sure that all of the rows are highlighted. Then you can go into Data, Sort, and this is where you'll have your options to create a custom sort. You want to sort by and select the, uh, the cell that you'd like to, or the um, column that you'd like to have sorted. In this example, we're going to go for average. So we're going to select F from the column drop-down list and sort on. We're going to want to sort the values because the actual values are what's important here. And we want to go largest to smallest. We'll select that drop-down. Um, if you'd like to find out who the top three people are in this class and uh, there are other variables, you can add uh, more variables to the custom list by clicking the plus button. To remove them, select the minus button. But let's stick to the average for now. We'll click OK. And as you can see, the information has been sorted in our Excel sheet with the highest scoring student at the top. That's how to create a custom sort in Excel. I'm Justin Conway. Thanks.